Good morning. Welcome to Morning Inspiration with Just Joycelyn. I'm so glad that you guys have decided to join me on my channel on this wonderful, wonderful morning. If this is your first time actually watching my channel, let me explain to you how it works. So as God gives me inspiration through scripture, I share that inspiration with you. And the hopes is that maybe we can discuss in the comments and really just encourage each other. So today's word or scripture comes from Psalms 119 verses 11 and it says I have hidden your word in my heart so that I will not sin against you Ooh. I have hidden your word in my heart so that I will not sin against you okay so this whole sin thing you know sin is what separates us from God it is actually why we need Jesus Christ to die on the cross for our sins because we make these mistakes sometimes it's on purpose sometimes it's without knowing we do these things that are against god's uh, commandments and against his word and because of that we are separated from god but because of his son jesus christ dying on the cross for our sins when we re receive him i'm sorry y'all when we receive him then we can have connection back with god amen amen so bringing it back to the scripture i have hidden your word in my heart so that I will not sin against you. And what it reminds me of is, you know, when you get to know somebody, you find out the things that, you know, that they like and they don't like, and you find out the things that kind of make them excited and the things, you know, that they're struggling with. You know, it's kind of like that with your relationship with God. If you don't know him, you study the Bible so that you can get to know him. And going to church and Bible study is one part of it, but a big part of it is at home, spending some time in scripture, reading, uh, spending some time figuring out who is this God that I serve. And by taking his word and putting it inside of your heart, then you're actually able to walk it out. You know, it's another scripture that says, out of the heart, the mouth speaks. And I don't know if you realize, but the things that are inside of your heart, you can try to hide them for a little while, but I promise you that stuff is gonna come out. When you start going through rough situations, when you start going through like unexpected things that you did not think was gonna come up, whatever is in your heart is going to come out. So, <laughs> with that being said, um, if you hide the word of God, if you meditate on his word, if you spend time with it and put that in your heart, then it'll help you to maintain that godly lifestyle. It'll help you to make choices that reflect uh, Christ instead of reflecting our flesh or um, or things that's going on around us. Because how many of y'all know everything that's going on in society right now is not quite uh, the way God wanted uh, for us to live our lives, you know? And so, saying that to say um god is awesome his word is true and if we would just spend a little bit of time and i'm not talking about you know if you're like well this is my first time reading the bible i don't know all the scriptures you don't have to know all of them a good place to start is the psalms uh isaiah is a good place to start um just get to know him spend a little bit of time in his word and then you'll start seeing a heart change you'll start seeing uh, situations in your life change because you'll start doing things that line up with him and i'm not promising you that your life is going to be perfect that you're going to have everything that you you know want my life is not like that i don't have everything that i want but i want to say this what i do have i have peace of mind um, that comes from god and he's continuously teaching me that peace i'm not trying to tell you that i'm in perfection land because i'm not there are still some situations Situations that uh, me and my friends can attest to that I'm like God I don't know and they like dude did he not bring you out of this did he not uh, save you from this and I'm like yes it's like okay then you know the God that you serve you know so but when you have his word in your heart it does help you to know uh, more about who he is amen let's go to God in prayer God, we thank you so much for your love, Lord God. And God, we thank you for this opportunity to take your word and put it inside of our hearts, Lord God. God, give us opportunity to learn more about you. Teach us, Lord God. Teach us through uh, your word. Teach us through people. Teach us through situations, Lord God, so that we might have a closer relationship with you. And so when life's troubles come, Lord God, we're able to live out and stand on your word, Lord God, so that we might have peace and share that word and encourage others. Amen amen and god uh 
as I continue to pray, Lord, I don't want to forget about my brothers and sisters who don't know you. God, there are so many people um, who desire to have a relationship with you. And all you ask is simply this, is that we believe that your son, Jesus Christ, died on the cross for our sins and that he was raised again. And if we believe that, we are saved and we are in the family of Christ. And from those of you all who are not, please know that I love you. More importantly, Jesus Christ loves you and he is standing with his arms open ready to receive you. And if that being said, we close this prayer out by saying amen. Amen. Well, I pray that you guys go forth. You have an awesome day. And please, 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 please know that Jesus Christ loves you. At the end of the day, his arms are open wide no matter what you've done. <laughs> Just ask um, and receive and he'll be right there. Amen. Y'all have a blessed day. Peace.